Howdy friends and welcome again to thechefandthegrape.com. This is the channel that saves you money in world class wine. The absolute best wine anywhere. From 10 bucks a bottle to a thousand bucks a bottle. We're gonna get it for you for far less than all of your friends are paying. And how is this possible? It's, it's actually, it's really simple. We taste thousands of bottles of wines every single year and and we're gonna talk about the great values that are out there before the big publications are talking about it. These are the off the grid artisan producers who are dedicated to creating the absolute best quality possible every single vintage. Uh, so tonight's episode is about Pinot Noir and uh, I like Pinot Noir. I'm not the, the, the biggest Pinot Noir fan in the world. And the reason is, is that really, for the most part, if you want great Pinot Noir, I mean world-class Pinot Noir, you have to spend a lot of money. Burgundy is very expensive. Oregon is very expensive. E even the great Pinot Noirs from uh, the southern part of New Zealand, still very expensive compared to a lot of other varietals, I'm saying. Um, but I'm gonna tell you about a producer from, yeah, you guessed it, Canada again. Canada is producing extraordinary value in a lot of different categories. So this is the Mirabelle Pinot Noir from Kelowna in the Okanagan Valley. What a beautiful label, so gorgeous. Yeah, it's stunning. Um, so this is a brand new winery, but they have been producing Pinot Noir and, uh, and selling it to Meyer family vineyards for years. And why is this important? This is incredibly important for you because in March of 2016, Decanter Magazine, arguably the most knowledgeable group of people anywhere in the world about wine, said that Meyer Family Vineyards Pinot Noir is one of the eight best Pinot Noirs in the world outside of Burgundy. And here's what you're gonna love. This is 80, 70 dollars a bottle. 70 dollars a bottle. Um, Maybe we should just dig straight into the wine and, and, and you'll understand why 70 bucks a bottle for this is actually fantastic value. Um, so I forgot a little bit about me in case uh, you don't know. Uh, my name is Chef Christoph. I was a trained chef for over 25 years. Uh, now in my, uh, I don't know what you call this, semi-retirement from chefhood, I still do a lot of private functions. I'm, I'm lucky enough to interview some of the most fantastic winemakers anywhere. Um, Let's talk about this wine in particular. So take a look at that in the glass. I mean, it's it's really, in the glass it looks like burgundy, right? It has that lightness, it has that etherealness. Uh, very new wine, right? This is only two years old. Absolutely no discoloration to the rim. Some beautiful little highlights in it though. And then on the nose, You know, just like I've spoken about before, I love when there's an assortment of fruit tones to a wine, right? Like there, there should be that juicy fruitness, um, but I want some complexity. I want some dimension, whether it's a $10 wine or a $1,000 wine, I want dimension and complexity. And, and this has got that. I, I love how there's a really rugged sense of, of forest to it, um, that it's almost wild sage and fir trees and spruce hints of cedar oak there's an earthiness to it it's deeper than just mushroom tones right it's it's bordering on on truffle which is gorgeous little hints of of coffee and dark cocoa this is an extraordinary wine on the palate This is a baby. It's so young in its life. Seriously needs. This This is a wine. Don't buy this for immediate consumption. You can drink it right away, but what a shame because there's so much left for this wine to develop and grow into. Bright, vibrant, full, youthful acids. Um, medium plus to full, very fine grain tannin. The tannin structure is gorgeous on this. Um, doesn't interfere with the palate, which once again, 
full concentration of very youthful flavors, bright young raspberries, like the first raspberries of the season, you know, when you bite into them and they're like, oh, I, sh I should have let that sit for just a while longer, right? Because it's not quite ready. Um, Almost hint of uh, cranberry and red currant, but then all of those savory tones come through in wild abandon. There's there's the herbaceousness, there's the um, woodsy tones, there's the earthy, uh, fungally mushroom, truffly tones. There's those little hints of dark cocoa, which are gorgeous. Um, yeah, extraordinary. Great balance, great structure, great concentration. Fantastic wine. Very easy to see why two BC winemakers who I respect very much have scored it quite highly. Um, Tim Pazzi, who used to write uh, in the North Shore, uh, he scored at 93 points. And John Schreiner, who has written more, who knows more about Canadian wine than any other person ever, um, he scored at 95 points. And I can see why he scored at 95. Um, I'm certainly leaning more to the latter than the former. I would say that this is a 94, 94 plus point Pinot Noir. It's tough to tell because it is so young and there's so much room left for this to grow up. Um, but what extraordinary value, just to give you a reference point for what kind of value this is. Um, I know some producers in Oregon who do, do quality on this level. I want to give a shout out to Dick Shea and Shea Vineyards. Uh, you guys are one of the icons. Um, you know, Shea Vineyards, if you wanted to get that up in Canada, that's well over a buck. That's a buck and a half for sure. Um, if you wanted, you know, something from, let's say, Jadot or any other great producer from Burgundy, you know, this wine, I really found that it, um, I, I like the sweetness and the juiciness of the berries that actually reminded me a little bit, for those of you who are Burgundy uh, fanatics, reminded me a bit of um, Maurice Saint-Denis, um, a great little region if you like that, that, that really bright, intense juiciness of berries. But there was a denseness of structure that actually reminded me of the best producers in Pomard. And Pomard ages gracefully for years upon years upon years. Uh, you know? That, you're looking at 200 bucks, 250, 300 bucks to start Gateway for Premier Crew in those regions. I just want to talk a little bit about the, the winery and the winemakers themselves um, because it is a really great story. Uh, this is Don and Doug Reimer, uh, just a lovely couple of people and, and um, they started the, the winery because they had been traveling and fell in love with the wines of Burgundy and Oregon. Um, think of, of wineries like Beaufrère or Domaine Drouin. Um, and, and then when they came back here and they decided that, that they wanted to see what they could do with their own grapes, stop selling it to somebody else, they were lucky enough to get one of the, I think, absolute best winemakers in, in all of Canada today. His name is Matt Dumain. Very passionate, very skilled, uh, very intense and a very quirky sense of humor. I love him. He's fantastic and he's so gifted and so under the radar for most people. Um, so they, they fell in love with this property, they fell in love with wine, they decided that yes, other people had recognized that their grapes were doing amazing things, they wanted to see what they could do with it as well. Matt comes on board, um, 237 cases of this Pinot Noir, that's it. They say at the most they'll be producing maybe a thousand cases a year. Um, I was really impressed with their with their f fervence, with their, with their passion, uh, you know, saying things like they just have a desire to always do the best. I mean, that's, that speaks straight to my heart. Um, don't take any shortcuts. Absolutely. There are no shortcuts with great quality. Uh, can we take it one step further? And did you guys see the cork? Holy, take a look at this cork. It was like, this is a cork that's meant for aging. This is, this is, you can put this away for 10 years with a cork. Anyways, they had to spend so much time researching every single facet of production and it shows in every single facet of this wine. Uh, it's absolutely spectacular. So, Mirabelle Winery, 
I hope you look for this in your local market. You're not going to find it. It's such small production. You're going to have to contact the winery at their website. Um, I believe it's mirabellwinery.com, but uh, it'll be at the end of the video. Thank you very much for tuning in. Once again, this is your resource for finding the best value in wine anywhere.